I'm sure by now you've heard that Logan Paul is starting a new life in Puerto Rico and leaving the glitz and glamour of Hollywood behind. Recently, news has been uncovered about where the YouTuber will be living in the town of Dorado, which is 30 minutes from San Juan and a preferred area for wealthy individuals. Many who move here live at the Lux Dorado Beach Complex, part of the Ritz Carlton and full of million dollar villas. It's said that Logan has settled on a $10 million mansion here, at least for now. We'll check out what will become of his longtime Encino home and the new Puerto Rico estate he's moved into. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Logan Paul is a YouTuber, podcaster, boxer, and more, who's not only found fame with his own YouTube channel, but also runs the Impulsive podcast since 2018, which has over 2.7 million subs on YouTube. Fans were shocked when Logan revealed on his podcast that he would be moving from LA to Puerto Rico, and it seems he's not the only celebrity choosing to move on from Southern California these days. Logan is relocating his handful of media and fashion businesses, including Maverick Clothing from Hollywood to Dorado, Puerto Rico, which is only a half hour drive from downtown San Juan. Dorado is the ideal location for wealthy individuals relocating here, where they usually choose to live in the lavish, gated community of Dorado Beach. This is a Ritz Carlton Reserve complex spanning 1,400 acres, which boasts a resort, condos, residences, golf courses, and multi million dollar villas. The average home in Dorado is only 135K. When you're a star like Logan Paul, you know you're gonna fork out some serious cash for a dream house. While Logan simply started on the now defunct Vine app in 2013 with stunts and sketch comedy, he transitioned onto YouTube, then branching out to a variety of other content and businesses. All of his success so far has resulted in a net worth estimated at $19 million or more. Hey guys, it's Care the Vampire Slayer and I am bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I noticed a bunch of you guys watching our videos aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and help us get to 1 million subs. We post new content daily. While we looked at Logan Paul's possible Puerto Rico home in a recent video, more information has been revealed about where the house he has moved into is, so we decided to update you guys with the information. We'll see the $10 million beachfront house that Logan's currently living in. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. So like I previously reported, Logan has moved to Puerto Rico, and while he hasn't outright purchased a home yet, he needed a place to stay until he finds his permanent abode. When talking about why he chose Puerto Rico, the YouTuber said on his podcast, I thought it was more third world than I suspected, so I went out there to scout it and I just fell in love with it. While Logan and his team didn't respond to comments on the news, it's been reported he settled for a multi-million dollar beachfront mansion, which we're gonna take a look at now. The home that Logan is reportedly living at right now is this beach house, located in Dorado Beach, a Ritz-Carlton Reserve. Established back in the 1950s, the Dorado Beach Resort community sits on 1,400 acres of ground and is pure luxury, only a few miles from from Cerro Gordo National Park and right on the gorgeous beach. Of course, Logan will have top of the line privacy living here as the community is gated and secure and entry without a membership is nearly impossible. The home he's chosen is rumored $10 million house listed for that price earlier this year. It was built in 2001 and situated on nearly half an acre of land with a beautiful backyard and inside there are open plan living spaces with tons of windows and natural light. It said Logan didn't purchase the home but is renting renting it from another multimillionaire, Kevin Tobias, for an unknown amount, but it's gotta be costing him at least 20k a month. Logan has expressed interest in buying his own home in Dorado Beach after his next big fight, and when he does, he'll be paying about 9,000 bucks a year as well for HOA fees, not including what it costs for access to the golf course and other amenities here. The home Logan is currently staying at has 5 beds and 7 baths within 5,299 square feet of space with a 3 car garage outside. Entering his abode, you come straight into the open plan main living space where there's a large sectional couch for hangouts and floor to ceiling windows as well as an opulent chandelier, while to the left there's a spacious formal dining room. Here there's a door to the gourmet kitchen which is upgraded to the nines, offering dark cabinets and light marble countertops as well as a sunny space for casual meals. Also on this level of the home there's a large entertainment room which is perfect for Logan and his crew to hang out. Here there's a sitting area, a pool table, 
bar, a mounted flat screen TV, and glass doors leading out to the pool. Upstairs holds all of the guest suites, as well as Logan's master bedroom, which has a huge walk-in closet, and ensuite bath with his and hers vanities, as well as a rainfall shower. Another cool feature elsewhere in the house is definitely the cozy movie theater, where there's plush seating and a projector screen. On the property of this contemporary beach house, of course, there's a heated L-shaped pool with an attached spa that's the focus of the yard, as well as plenty of space to entertain or lounge in the sun. There's also a separate pool house, which I know if Logan actually bought the property, he'd be turning that into a state-of-the-art gym like we've seen at his Encino home. Aside from the lavish house itself, living in the Dorado Beach gated community comes with plenty of other perks. Here, Logan gets access to the resort amenities like two other pools, the golf courses, a water park and spa, and of course, a fitness center. There's also a restaurant, a bar and grill, a beach bar, cafe, and more, not to mention one of the most important features, access to the gorgeous beach. Before Logan made his move to Puerto Rico, as you probably know, he's lived in a nice Encino estate for a while now where he also films his podcast. But as far as I know, there have been no reports of the house being sold yet. Logan's home is also known as the Robert Byrd Designed Estate and located on an acre of land in Encino, a Los Angeles neighborhood growing increasingly popular with celebrities and creators. James Charles, Selena Gomez, you name it, those are only a couple of the famous faces that live here. When Logan bought the mansion in 2017, he was super excited, as one probably would be after spending $6.55 million on a property, and posted videos on his channel showing the place off. The contemporary abode is located in the upscale Rancho Estates neighborhood, and was originally built back in 1972 by architect Robert Beard. It was extensively renovated by developer Maxim Chernovsky. The estate now boasts reclaimed wood siding, polished concrete exteriors, and features like beamed ceilings, while the 8,700 square feet of space was made completely modern. There are seven beds and nine baths throughout, and Logan's master retreat has a spa-style bath and custom walk-in. Some of the noteworthy features include a marble-clad kitchen, a fancy wet bar, glass-enclosed built-in wine wall, and an industrial-style steel staircase. Logan has said the backyard is where the real magic of the house lies, and I can see why. It was perfect for creating content, and the park-like grounds were full of mature trees, sprawling lawns, an outdoor kitchen, and of course, a swimming pool and spa. We know that Logan also set up his impulsive podcast studio on the property so he could work from home and transform the large guest house into a full top-tier gym. I mean, it looked more impressive than a real gym. All right, so now we've taken a look at the home Logan Paul is currently living in, located in the Dorado. Auto Beach, Puerto Rico, and the same community where we suspect he's gonna put down money on a house. While he's reportedly renting out this $10 million estate in the Ritz-Carlton gated resort community, I'm sure the YouTuber is keeping his eye out on some mansions for sale in the neighborhood. This is the area where many wealthy individuals choose to live if they're relocating to Puerto Rico, as it offers security and privacy, which is no doubt important to someone as famous as Logan. Not to mention all of the luxe features in the modern homes themselves, the location, and the amenities. What was your favorite feature of Logan's Dorado Beach Mansion? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. I think the villas are all beautiful in this community, and even though they all appear to be quite similar, they look like they have all the rooms and upgrades you could ever want. My favorite part has got to be the backyard and the pool because that's a necessity living in an oasis like Puerto Rico, and inside I'm also a fan of that rainfall shower. It just looks fancy. Let me know your thoughts on the property and what you think about Logan's big move from Los Angeles. If you haven't, go subscribe to my personal channel because I would love to get to know all of you a lot better. Leave me a comment, we'll link you one of my latest videos. What you gonna do? And I'm gonna give you my review, what I liked about it, what I didn't like, what freaking disturbed me. Killing a baby, and it definitely made me sad. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all next time. Bye!